Welcome to NetBeans IDE 7.3. NetBeans IDE is an integrated development environment that allows you to rapidly create desktop, web, and mobile applications. NetBeans IDE provides cutting-edge tools and templates focused on Java and HTML5 application development. It also provides great tools for developing PHP and C++ applications. The IDE is open source, extensible, cross-platform, and free. In this screencast, you'll be introduced to the new features and enhancements available in NetBeans IDE 7.3. NetBeans IDE 7.3 introduces HTML5 capabilities for creating and debugging rich web and mobile applications. It also brings a range of new features to the Java Editor and continuing enhancements to Java EE, Java FX, Maven, and other core features of the IDE. NetBeans IDE 7.3 offers new support for rich client-side web development with the latest HTML5 technologies. HTML5 features in the IDE include a new HTML5 project type, bidirectional interaction between the IDE and Chrome, an embedded browser, a new JavaScript editor and debugger, new CSS3 tools, and a code generator for JavaScript web service clients, along with a list of HTML5 sample applications. When you start working with HTML5, JavaScript, and CSS3, the IDE offers a new project template that lets you include popular JavaScript libraries, base your application on common frameworks, and search for JavaScript libraries to use. You can also open your existing applications into the IDE and benefit from all the rich HTML5 capabilities provided. The IDE gives you access to several open source HTML5 sample applications used in well-known online tutorials. Once you've opened or created an application, you can easily add new JavaScript libraries or use your own server to run the application. The application opens in the IDE's default browser. When you access your application in Chrome, you can quickly and easily change resolutions with the NetBeans Chrome plugin by clicking the NetBeans icon at the top of the browser. When you click Inspect in NetBeans mode, you can select items in the browser and see where they are defined in the IDE. In the same way, you can browse the live DOM tree in the IDE and see the related content in the browser. The IDE has a new CSS3 styles view with a CSS3 rule editor. Jump from the browser into a file, make a change, and see the change being applied live in the browser. You don't need to save. As you make changes, the browser is updated. Live updates with the Chrome browser brings the fun back to application development. The new CSS3 editor is richly featured with code completion, documentation, and live updates of the browser as you type without the need to save. Together with its Chrome support, NetBeans IDE 7.3 has an embedded browser based on Java FX and WebKit. As with Chrome, bidirectional interaction lets you easily find and edit the assets in your application. In NetBeans IDE, HTML5 applications are always in debug mode. The new JavaScript debugger is started automatically when you run an HTML5 application. Set a breakpoint, refresh the browser, and then you can step through your code and monitor the current variables, watches, and breakpoints. HTML5 elements, such as the HTML video element, are supported in the HTML editor. The JavaScript editor has been rewritten and is now based on the latest Nashorn JavaScript engine with support for jQuery. In the Options window, you can configure several JavaScript editor features, such as fonts and colors, formatting rules,
code templates. Hints and save actions, as well as other standard editor features such as key maps and macros. Once you've registered a JS test driver, you can debug JavaScript files directly in the IDE. Integration of HTML5 applications with Java is simple in NetBeans IDE 7.3. Use the new RESTful JavaScript client wizard to create a backbone JS front end from a RESTful web service. The wizard lets you select a RESTful web service endpoint and then lets you specify where you'd like the JavaScript client to be generated. You can let the wizard generate a layout into the HTML file that it will generate. A complete backbone-based web service client is generated and can immediately be viewed in the browser. As shown earlier, you can then interact between the browser and the tools in the IDE. NetBeans IDE 7.3 includes powerful new features for Java developers. In particular, the Java editor has been enhanced so that you can view your code base and navigate through it more quickly and smoothly than before. New tools are provided to help you navigate through code. Is the top of a clause not visible? Select its closing brace and a pop-up at the top of the editor shows the related opening statement. The breadcrumb navigation bar beneath the editor is new and helps you easily locate where you're currently working in your code. As the cursor changes position, the breadcrumb navigation bar is updated with information about the current context. Right-click on an item in the breadcrumb navigation bar to jump to the related code in the editor. The hierarchy window is new in NetBeans IDE 7.3. It lets you view and explore the supertypes and subtypes of the current class or item under the cursor. It is well integrated with other windows in the IDE, such as Java Doc Window and the Navigator. Right-click an Editor tab, choose Copy File Path, and then the current file path will be copied to the clipboard. The paths of all selected files can be copied too, with the status bar showing the new items in the clipboard. Via a keyboard shortcut, the IDE lets you see the items you copied to the clipboard and then lets you paste them back into the editor. When you save a file in the IDE, actions you selected in a new panel in the Options window will automatically be performed. For example, the file you are saving can automatically be reformatted, or trailing white spaces can automatically be removed. To share your customizations with the other members in your team, you can now also export formatting options. You can now define class member ordering rules in the IDE. Select class members and reorder them and via the Batch Refactoring Inspect and Transform tool in the IDE, you can apply your rules easily right across your code base. Go to Inspect and Transform, search for the inspection you want to apply, in this case, Organize Members, apply the inspection across a scope of your choice and click Inspect. View and then do the refactoring and all your changes are applied. Also, the IDE now identifies potential null pointer exceptions. A filter has been added to the Find Usages window so that you can quickly drill down to the search results that you need. For example, identifying the variables with write access or removing occurrences in test cases is now easy to do. In this way, you can identify exactly the occurrences that are of interest to you and then work with them in your code. Whether variables have write access, read access, or read and write access can be identified via the Find Usages filter. NetBeans IDE 7.3 comes with other exciting enhancements. For example, there's a new JPQL editor for Java EE developers. 
JavaFX developers now have deeper integration with the JavaFX Scene Builder. In other areas, improvements to memory and performance are visible. And the IDE continues to expand its capabilities for Groovy and PHP development. NetBeans IDE is smarter than ever before, providing many new and enhanced features for Java and HTML5 application development, as well as a range of other enhancements throughout the IDE. To download NetBeans IDE 7.3, visit the netbeans.org website, where you'll also find tutorials and screencasts, and many ways to participate in the NetBeans community.